Good morning guys, it's currently 20 past 11 and I'm just back at this amazing mansion. I was last here probably about a year and a half ago and I haven't been back since, but now that I've got a drone, I want to come back and drone it. I've poked my head in the door and wow, she's changed a fair bit. On my first visit, I didn't really film much of the front, unfortunately, but at least you get to see what it was like. It still looked like this, but this was all well manicured. Never used to be like this. You could barely even tell it was Bando. Now they've uh, let it go. People have obviously noticed and come in and trashed it, but it's done pretty well because it was sold 2016 for around about 8 million. So it's been here for about coming up to five years, wrap around driveway, straight through, and then that goes out there. But developers have definitely bought this. Plans are in place for apartments. Just poke my head in the door and then bang, confronted with this. This place used to be untouched. Starting it off with this very special house. I think from the photos I saw that Urbex Victoria sent through to me, it's borderline mansion. Already just this here, I've got the biggest shivers right now. He sent me photos of this place. I haven't seen a spot like that that's just got me so excited in so long. And I've been hanging absolutely all week to come and see it. The curtains. Wow. It's a cold morning, but I'm absolutely just buzzing through my body right now. This is so sick. All the taps and everything have been removed. The toilet's still flush though. Wine storage. Oh my god, look at this. This is so beautiful. Is this a Bible? Yep. Is this the speakers built into the wall? Yep. And this bar. What an entertaining area. Everyone looks forward to Fridays. Looks like a Korean TGI Fridays advertisement. TGI Fridays. Drinks menu. I'm in love with this place. This is already one of the best houses I've been to. Love how everything's just built into that wall there, so you don't have many cables and anything run about. Oh, look at this. There's just enough room, it's a bit deceptive. Looks like you'd hit your head easy, but anyone taller would probably struggle for it a bit. Waits me upstairs. Generally, in most bandos, the upstairs part is always the best. Don't think we're going to be able to beat that red bar room. Big rooms. Master bedroom, I dare say. pretty modest spa and bath considering the rest of the place. 
I don't know how it's untouched. It's it's out there for all to see. Yep, in this room too. See all the doorknobs, taps, everything. All being taken. Oh wow. That balcony. Imagine waking up to that every morning. Got your view out there. Doesn't feel like I'm in Melbourne at the moment. They love these fittings. Oh, there we go, that's a bit more of a nicer spa. Pretty decent guest house. You can just envision that when it was all maintained. Amazing pool area. 